Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be diving into creating enemies for our game using Ascent Combat Framework and Cinti Assets. Let's get started. It's really easy to set up. I'm personally just doing it with the Cinti uh, UE5 retargeter that TC Mabe set up. And if you want that, you just download this .rar file, extract it, and then you'll open up the, um, the UE5 project. And then you would just right click content and migrate it over to yours. And I do this for Cinti Mesh because I like all my Cinti assets just sharing the same skeleton, just so all the sockets are the same and it's a lot easier to deal with. All right, so first we need to ensure that our AI is gonna be able to navigate the world. So open up whatever level you want. If you're using the full sample default full map level, it'll automatically be there. So in all, type in nav mesh, nav mesh bounds volume, just drag it into the world. And I'll just extend it to be bigger than the map, hopefully. Yeah, so it's it's pretty big. So the AI can go all around. I'm just gonna double check the bone. Okay, so this is the this is the skeletal mesh I'll be using. It already has all the sockets. I won't need to worry about this for my AI characters. Ascent Combat Frameworks makes it really easy to set up with other skeletons too. But for my purpose, since I can just assign the skeleton and not have any issues, I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll right click on all the skeletal meshes, assign skeleton, and select my Cinti. All the currently selected and target skeleton bone are the same. So I'll hit accept, that I would just do all of it at the same time. So I've assigned all the skeletons to be the appropriate one. Now I'm just gonna do file, save all, or control shift S. And now I'll go ahead and navigate to the, uh, full, to the full sample folder, go to blueprints, characters, enemies, and I already created one before, but I'll just go ahead and create another one. This time I'll do the ACF ranged enemy. So I'll just go ahead and duplicate this. I'll create goblin female. And now we're gonna need to assign our character model. What I'm gonna wanna do is kind of the same thing I did with my character. I'm gonna go under this character mesh zero and then just add a skeletal mesh and I'll call this um, goblin female. So this is the child of mesh character mesh zero. And now what I'm gonna do is actually select my goblin female character. And now for the anim class, I can select that Cinti animation blueprint that came with the TC Mabes project. And this is the same one my character uses. So it's the retargeter and it works perfectly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I will actually just drag this into the world. And what you're gonna notice is that currently the mannequin is showing through and that's because we didn't hide the character mesh zero. But another issue with that is if we try to hide this from rendering, then the child wouldn't render as well. So if we, if we check mark this, and hit play, then it's not gonna render the animation properly. So it's shooting me, but it's not actually moving or doing anything. But it just looks it just looks odd and clunky. So I'm gonna uncheck that. And what I'm gonna wanna do, I'll compile and save. What I'm gonna wanna do is you can just right click, create a material, and I'll just call this transparent. And for the blend type or blend mode, I'll change it to translucent. And then I'll right click here, create a constant, and just make sure the value is set to zero. And when you set the zero to opacity, it just means it's completely see-through. That's why it looks like this left preview is completely empty. So I'll hit apply and I'll go back to my goblin female. Make sure you uncheck the hidden in game for the character mesh zero. And I'll just apply that transparent here and here. And I'll compile and save. And you'll see in the viewport that you can't even see that character mesh zero anymore. So now when I hit play, you'll see that it's shooting correctly and it looks a lot better than what it did before. Easy. All right, so all I did was just add some different skeletal meshes and I have a different variety and I made two of them into archers and two of them into warriors. And that's how you create enemies using Ascent Combat Framework in Unreal Engine 5. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next. Uh, in the next video, I'll cover some AI spawners and patrolling, as well as another video with companions. Keep watching Code with Row. Thank you.